to sum this shit up, basically based on what he says, when he says, I'm not sure Saitama has infinite strength, I just assume that he watched the video but decided to run with his opinion anyway, overriding the factual information. So that's me giving him the benefit of the doubt. But he sits here and admits that he didn't watch the video, which is even worse. So you didn't watch the video, but yet you're sitting here arguing your opinion. See, this is why I don't like to entertain trolls. Then he's recommending me to watch Official Devon video twice. So I'm like, I've, all, dude, I've already debunked that guy. I've already debunked that guy. So to sum this shit up quick, Saitama Power literally doesn't care how powerful the opponent is. It doesn't matter how much you want to cry and argue about it. You sitting here arguing, Goku's more powerful than Saitama. No, he's not. He is factually not. Showcasing more impressive feats in a normal sense, if this was any other fictional character, you can say that Goku's stronger than that fictional character. But the way Saitama's made and the way his shit is just straight up infinite without limitation, he's not strong on Goku, not even close. Saitama is so strong that his full power allows him to one-shot any enemy, no matter how strong they are. That's literally his full power. So you arguing that Goku's stronger, therefore he beat Saitama, is, is completely moot. It's out the window. You can sit here and cry about it as long as you want. It's done. You've already lost. Because you're putting your opinion over the factual information, no matter how you want to word it. Saitama literally wants to fill the rush of battle and meet a strong opponent so he can one-punch them. Once these requirements are met, we're going to see Saitama actual one-punch. We haven't seen it yet. And no, Kaze and Garo didn't meet these requirements because he didn't feel the rush of battle against Kaze and Garo. And he's literally designed to punch a problem away, which the author has clearly been showcasing throughout One Punch Man. There's nothing that Saitama can't punch. To put it simple, removing the limiter literally gives you infinite growth. Literally gives you infinite growth. And this man put Saitama at the max. If you sat here and used a bit of common sense, you would think to yourself, damn, there is no true maximum. There's only infinite. Which is why you get the infinity symbol by his strength. His strength literally is the affinity symbol, proving that he's infinitely strong. It doesn't say potential. It doesn't say growth. It flat out says strength. So the people saying, well, we're based on the context. No, you just don't understand the context, period. Get the fuck out of here. You don't convince yourself that you understand that shit, but you don't understand that shit. Common sense would tell someone, hey, if my conclusion doesn't match what to literally being shown in front of my face, then that means my conclusion is wrong. But these people don't think that way. They just double down on their wrong stance. I'm a simple man. The factual information says strength with infinity symbol by it. Okay, so Tama has infinite strength. People sit here and say, oh, Garo was referring to his growth. No, Garo says he's so strong, infinitely strong. Stick to what's being said, not what you want it to be. All of this information matches up with the infinite strength chart. Saitama has both infinite growth and infinite strength with literally no limit. This is why he is literally able to one punch anybody, however strong. That's the short version anyway. I don't want this video to be too long because people like this have short attention spans. Oh yeah, I've already debunked it. Official divine video. The person who you claim gets your points across. My boy, he got so much shit fucking wrong in his video, ain't even funny. And yes, Saitama still wipes the floor with Goku. Because his power literally does not care. That's how infinitely 
powerful Saitama actually is. I don't care that you people want to accept it. I do not care that y'all don't want to accept that. I only run off of the factual information. I don't run off of what I want it to be. I don't insert my shitty fucking biased opinion. I don't do none of that. I stick to the factual information as is. You got to have somebody doing it. Otherwise, nobody will. So, yeah, hold this L, man. And, of course, you're not going to watch this video either because it's too long. So, yeah, you, you've really earned L.